Italian actress Rosalina Neri, who is known for showing her acting skills in movies and TV shows such as Three Men and a Leg, All the Morons Men, and The Predators. If we talk about Neri's love life, she was in a long romantic relationship with composer Jack Hilton, whom she met. During a trip to England to shoot a TV commercial, Neri passed away on 5th June 2024. She died of natural causes at the age of 96. American astronaut William Anders is best known for his role in the historic Apollo 8 mission, the first manned mission to orbit the moon. He was one of the first three people to orbit the moon. Anders died on 7th June 2024. NASA selected him as an astronaut in 1964, and he served as a backup pilot on the Gemini 11 mission. While he was orbiting the moon in Apollo 8, Anders took the famous Earthrise photograph. It shows the Earth rising over the moon's surface. One of the most iconic images of the 20th century, it illustrates the fragility and beauty of our planet. According to his son, Anders died in an aircraft incident while flying his vintage Beechcraft T-34 Mentor on San Juan Island. He was 90 at the time of his death. He is survived by his wife, Valerie Horde, whom he married in 1955, and their children. Greek actress Despina Stylianopoulou is most popular for her work on popular movies and TV shows, such as Alice in the Navy and O, oh, That Wife of Mine. She debuted in cinema in 1960 with Stranger of the Night and became well known for her comic roles. Despina passed away on 7th June 2024. She died of natural causes at the age of 91. British television producer, writer, and director Harold Snowad, who is known for his work on popular comedy shows such as Keeping Up Appearances, Ever Decreasing Circles, and Don't Wait Up. Harold died on 2nd June 2024. His first breakthrough came with the classic sitcom Dad's Army which he joined as a producer and director in the 1970s. He directed and produced the BBC sitcom Keeping Up Appearances. Harold died at the age of 88. No cause of death is revealed yet. He is survived by his second wife, Jean Dye, whom he married in 1963. American-Mexican actor Armando Silvestre who is remembered for showing his acting skills in movies and TV shows such as Rosanna, The Miracle Roses, and Night of the Bloody Apes. Silvestre died on 3rd June, 2024. He was one of the last surviving actors from the golden age of Mexican cinema. Silvestre's breakthrough came in the 1950s with roles in films such as Espaldas Mojadas, 1955, and Los Desarregados, 1958. Silvestre died of natural causes at the age of 98. British actress Jeanette Charles, most renowned for her uncanny resemblance to Queen Elizabeth II, she is popular for appearances on popular movies and TV shows such as National Lampoon's European Vacation, The Naked Gun, and Austin Powers in Goldmember. Charles passed away on 2nd June 2024. Her breakthrough came in the 1970s when she became widely recognized as an impersonator of Queen Elizabeth II. She featured in popular TV shows such as Saturday Night Live and The Man Who Knew Too Little. Charles died of natural causes at the age of 96. English actor William Russell, who's best known for showing his acting skills in movies and TV shows such as Doctor Who, Coronation Street, and The Adventures of Sir Lancelot. Russell passed away on the 3rd of June, 2024. Russell's most notable role was as Ian Chesterton, one of the original companions to The Doctor in the long-running BBC series Doctor Who. He returned for a surprise cameo in the 2022 special The Power of the Doctor after over 50 years away. Russell died of natural causes at the age of 99. 
He survived by his second wife, Ethelene Lewis, who he married in 1984, and their son, American basketball player Duane Cluey, who's best known for playing alongside teams like the Denver Nuggets, Fort Wayne Pistons, and Indiana State Sycamores. Cluey was a college star at Indiana State. He earned All-American honors and led his team to the NAIA Finals, played professionally in the NBA from 1949 to 1951. Cluey died on the 2nd of June, 2024. He died of natural causes at the age of 98. American Hall of Fame football player Larry Allen was best known for playing alongside teams like the Dallas Cowboys and San Francisco 49ers. Larry passed away on the 2nd of June, 2024. In the 1994 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys selected Larry Allen in the second round, a six-time All-Pro who was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2013. He was one of the best defensive linemen in NFL history. Allen played 12 of his 14 seasons with the Cowboys. He helped the Cowboys win the Super Bowl Triple X in 1996. Larry died suddenly while on holiday with his family in Mexico. He was 52 at the time of his death. American actress Janice Page, who is most popular for showing her acting in movies and TV shows such as Please Don't Eat the Daisies, The Pajama Game, and It's Always Jan. Page died on the 2nd of June, 2024. She also toured with U.S. comedy giant Bob Hope during her career, which continued into her 80s. In the CBS series, It's Always Jan, from 1955 to 1956, Janice Page played the main lead as a widowed nightclub singer, striving to raise her 10-year-old daughter while managing the complexities of her personal and professional life. Page died of natural causes at the age of 101. American sports columnist T.J. Simmers, recognized for his provocative and often humorous writing style, was best known for writing columns for the Los Angeles Times, Orange County Register, and the San Diego Union Tribune. Simmers passed away on the 2nd of June, 2024. He even appeared on the debut episode of ESPN's Around the Horn in 2002. Simmers sued the LA Times, saying they treated him unfairly because of his age and health. In 2015, a jury awarded him $7.1 million in damages, although the amount was later reduced. Sadly, Simmers died of brain cancer at the age of 73. French actor Philippe Leroy, who is being remembered for showing his acting skills in movies and TV shows such as The Hole, The Life of Leonardo da Vinci, and San Dokan. Leroy passed away on the 1st of June, 2024. His debut performance in Jock Becker's The Hole in 1960 earned him a BAFTA nomination for Best Foreign Actor. Leroy went on to appear in more than 150 films over his career. He wasn't limited to French cinema, as he also worked extensively in Italy. Leroy died of natural causes at the age of 93. Hungarian actress Katja Tampos, who was recognized for her roles in movies like The Debt, Now Is Now, and Polygamy. Tampos was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer in 2022. Sadly, she lost her battle with cancer on May 31, 2024, at the age of 41. American actor Eric Anderson is remembered for showing his acting skills in movies and TV shows such as Friday the 13th, The Final Chapter, Bat 21, and Unfaithful. Anderson passed away on the 31st of May, 2024. His film career launched in 1984 with a role in Friday the 13th, The Final Chapter. He appeared in nine episodes of Felicity as Dr. Edward Porter. He made guest appearances in TV roles, including The Paper Chase, 
Tour of Duty, and Quantum Leap. Anderson died of cancer at the age of 66. He survived by his wife, actress Saxon Trainer. The couple has been married since 2003. American film producer Mitchell Block is remembered for his work on popular documentary filmmaking such as The Girls of Pleasure Island, It's Great to be Young, and A Touch of the Sun. Block's death was announced on the 30th of May 2024. He was 73 at the time of his death. No cause of death has been revealed yet. American basketball player Drew Gordon who was a powerful forward for the Philadelphia 76ers of the National Basketball Association, or NBA. The majority of his career was spent overseas in Europe, but he also played in the NBA G League on the domestic front. Drew died in a car accident in Portland, Orr, on the 30th of May, 2024. American baseball player Hank Allen is best known for playing alongside teams like the Washington Senators, Chicago White Sox, and Milwaukee Brewers. Hank died on the 29th of May, 2024. He was a Major League Baseball outfielder who made his MLB debut on September 9, 1966 with the Washington Senators. Hank died at the age of 83. No cause of death is revealed yet. American actor Johnny Wachter, who is known for showing his acting skills in movies and TV shows such as General Hospital, Siberia, and USS Indianapolis, Men of Courage. Wachter died on the 25th of May, 2024. He was best known for his role as Brando Corbin on the long-running soap opera General Hospital from 2020 to 2022. He also appeared in several primetime shows, including NCIS and Criminal Minds. In addition to that, he also voiced the video game Call of Duty Vanguard in 2021. At the age of 37, Wachter was fatally shot in downtown Los Angeles on May 25, 2024. He intervened during an attempt to steal his car's catalytic converter. Oscar winner American film songwriter Richard M. Sherman is a legendary American songwriter. Sherman is most popular for his work for Disney film and series classics such as Mary Poppins, The Jungle Book, and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Sherman died on the 25th of May, 2024. He was best known for his collaboration with his brother, Robert B. Sherman, as part of the Sherman Brothers. The Sherman Brothers were inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2005. As a result of his service to the arts industry, he's also been awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Sherman died of natural causes at the age of 95. He survived by his wife, Elizabeth Sherman, his children and grandchildren. Oscar winner, American film and television producer Albert S. Ruddy, most popular for his work on super hit movies such as The Godfather, Hogan's Heroes, and Million Dollar Baby. Ruddy died on the 25th of May, 2024. He remarkably won two Oscars for Best Picture, for The Godfather and Million Dollar Baby. He co-created the popular 1960s CBS sitcom Hogan's Heroes. In the 2022 biological drama miniseries The Offer, which dramatizes the making of The Godfather and is executive produced by Ruddy, he's played by Miles Teller. Ruddy died of natural causes at the age of 94. American film director Morgan Spurlock is best known for his groundbreaking documentary work that often combines humor with hard-hitting social commentary. His popular documentaries are such as Super Size Me, Where in the World is Osama Bin Laden, and Comic-Con Episode 5, A Fan's Hope. Morgan passed away on the 23rd of May, 2024. He's best known for his 2004 documentary, Super Size Me. In this film, he explores how fast food affects health. For a month, he ate only McDonald's food and recorded how it harmed his body and mind. 
Super Size Me was praised by critics and got an Academy Award nomination for Best Documentary Feature. Morgan died of cancer at the age of 53. American author Caleb Carr, who achieved fame for his historical fiction and thriller novels, best known for his work on popular novels such as The Alienist, The Angel of Darkness, and The Italian Secretary. Carr died on the 23rd of May 2024. The Alienist novel was adapted into a TNT television series of the same name in 2018, which later moved to Netflix. Carr died of cancer at the age of 68. American actor Daryl Hickman, who's being remembered for showing his acting skills in movies and TV shows such as The Grapes of Wrath, Leave Her to Heaven, and Fighting Father Dunn. Hickman passed away on the 22nd of May, 2024. He began as a child actor in the golden age of Hollywood and transitioned into a successful career as an adult. After appearing in more than 40 films, including The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, he retired from acting in 1951. He also appeared on popular TV shows such as The Untouchables, Perry Manson, Gunsmoke, and Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Hickman died of natural causes at the age of 92. Polish film composer Jan A.P. Kadzmarek is most popular for his work in popular movies such as Finding Neverland, Unfaithful, and The Visitor. This Oscar winner composer passed away on the 21st of May 2024. He composed and created music for more than 70 feature films and documentaries. In 2004, he earned an Academy Award and a National Board of Review Award for his movie Finding Neverland. The film's soundtrack was critically acclaimed and won Kazmarak the Academy Award for Best Original Score. Jan died of complications from multiple system atrophy at the age of 71. Scottish swimmer and Olympic champion David Wilkie was the first British swimmer to win an Olympic gold medal in 1976 in the 200-meter breaststroke. Only he has held British, Commonwealth, European, World and Olympic swimming championships all at the same time. David passed away on the 22nd of May, 2024. He died of cancer at the age of 70. American actress Elizabeth McRae is best known for her work in television during the 1960s and 1970s, popular for her TV shows such as General Hospital, Gomer Pyle, USMC, and The Conversation. Elizabeth passed away on the 27th of May, 2024. She guest starred on popular shows like Perry Mason, The Andy Griffith Show, Gunsmoke, and Bewitched. She died of natural causes at the age of 88. American Hall of Fame basketball player Bill Wanton, who won two consecutive national championships with the UCLA under legendary coach John Wooden. Bill died on the 27th of May, 2024. He played for teams like the UCLA Bruins, Portland Trail Blazers, and Boston Celtics. Bill was the first overall pick in the 1974 NBA draft by the Portland Trail Blazers. During the 1977-78 season, he won the NBA's Most Valuable Player Award, leading the Portland Trail Blazers to their first championship. Walton began his broadcasting career in the early 1990s, following his retirement and worked with several major networks throughout his broadcasting career, including NBC, CBS, ABC, ESPN, and the Pac-12 network. Bill died of colorectal cancer at the age of 71. Czechoslovakian-born German actress Ruth Maria Kubitschik is remembered for showing her acting skills in movies and TV shows such as He Can't Stop Doing It, Madame and Her Niece, and Tears of Blood. Ruth died on the 1st of June, 2024. She died of natural causes at the age of 92.